May I have your attention, please? You are listening to the Big Cruise Podcast. Hello, it's Chris Frame here, and welcome to season five of the Big Cruise Podcast. It's hard to believe it, but this podcast is now five years old, and this is just a quick teaser trailer to let you know what to expect in 2024. The Big Cruise podcast started in 2020 when Barry Downs and myself decided to start sharing our mutual love of cruising with the world. And we were absolutely delighted to find such an engaged and enthusiastic audience from the very beginning of the podcast. But 2020 was an interesting time to start a cruising podcast. And with the global cruise shutdown in full swing, only a few weeks into our actual podcasting experience, Barry and I decided that we'd have to make a choice. Were we going to continue doing the podcast or were we going to let it fade away? But the feedback that we had from you was overwhelmingly positive. You wanted to continue with the Big Cruise podcast. So we did. We fully committed to the podcast in 2020. With things opening up, the last few years have been very, very busy on the podcast. And we can't thank you enough for your support over the last few years. Cruising has gone from strength to strength. And this year, many countries around the world are reporting record bookings and a season like we have never seen before. So this year, the fifth year of the Big Cruise podcast is set to be its most exciting yet. And we're going to bring you more of the things that you've told us you love. More in-depth cruise news, more cruise analysis, and more maritime history, sharing with you nuggets of information about passenger ships that you may have never heard of before. But we're also going to be bringing you new delighters, elements of the podcast that we think you're going to really enjoy, including additional cruise ship tours and interviews with experts from cruising around the world. Thank you so much for your support of the Big Cruise Podcast over the last five years. It really has been an absolutely wonderful journey to share with you. And if you have been missing our updates over the last few weeks, head on over to YouTube and visit my YouTube channel at Chris Frame Official to see some latest videos about what's been happening in the cruise industry, including a recent video that covers Queen Mary 2's 20th anniversary. Can you believe it? The ship is now 20 years old. And so to finish this little update for the 2024 season, I thought I'd leave you with a maritime history slash cruise ship design related question. And this is a quiz question. So don't forget to head over to the Big Cruise podcast and let us know your responses. So as you all know, the Queen Mary 2 is the only true transatlantic liner in service today. And in fact, the only ocean liner currently operating line voyages around the world. The ship was put into service in 2004, making her 20 years old, and she was the first ocean liner built in a generation. Because Queen Mary 2 is designed as an ocean liner, as many of you will be aware, she has some traits that are different to that of cruise ships, and that forms the basis of our quiz question today. The question is, which of the three following design traits does Queen Mary 2 have that most cruise ships do not? One, a bulbous bow. 2. 360 degrees rotating azipods, or 3. Doors on her bow thruster entries. That is, 1. The bulbous bow, 2. 360 degree rotating azipods, or 3. Doors on her bow thruster entries. If you know the answer, jump on over to the bigcruisepodcast.com and send us the information. We'll go through it in the first episode of 2024. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you enjoy the podcast this year. And thanks once again for being a fantastic audience. Until next time, I hope to see you on board. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Until next time, bon voyage.